Hello and welcome to the Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam update for May 2024. The water level at America's second largest reservoir is 3,561 feet 11 inches above mean sea level. That's an increase of 3 feet 8 inches since our last Lake Powell update. The current water elevation is 72 feet above minimum power pool and 138 feet below the full pool elevation. Hello and welcome to Time Bomb. In this episode, we're going to start with a review of the latest Lake Powell and Glen Canyon Dam water level statistics. And because Lake Powell and Lake Mead are jointly managed, I will also include a brief Lake Mead status update. Next, we'll do a deep dive into the disturbing new report of damaged plumbing found inside the Glen Canyon Dam. Now I break these videos up into chapters, so if you want to skip the statistics and get right to the pipe damage story, you can do so. The Glen Canyon Dam's plumbing issue could have major consequences for the 40 million people who rely on water that is delivered through the dam. How bad is this situation? Well, you're about to find out. Do me a favor, hit that like button. Tell me off in the comments section. This is Time Bomb, let's get started. This is a chart of Lake Powell's water level for the 2024 water year. The water level has been steadily declining since the beginning of the water year, which began on October 1st, 2023. On April 18th, the decline stopped and the water level started to gain in elevation. Those recent gains in elevation are due to two factors. First, water deliveries to the lower basin states for March were 675,000 acre feet. But in April, the delivery declined to 600,000 acre feet. So outflows have been reduced as planned to meet this new water delivery objective. The second cause for the increased water level is the melting snowpack. The runoff from the melting snow is already reaching Lake Powell and will continue to do so over the next several weeks. The current elevation of 3,562 feet is 66 feet below the historical average for this date. Lake Powell's record high water level was set on July 14, 1983 at just over 3,708 feet. The current water level is only 43 feet above the record low for Lake Powell that was set just over a year ago on April 13, 2023 at 3,519 feet. The 2023 winter season was a great improvement for Lake Powell and the 2024 winter season also provided above average precipitation. The lake is currently 29 feet above the water level at the same time last year. Compared to 2022, the reservoir is 39 feet higher. However, it is still below the elevations from 2019 and 2020. Despite having two consecutive years of above average winter precipitation, the current capacity of the Lake Powell Reservoir is just 32.58% of full pool capacity. The water level is still dangerously close to that minimum power pool level. Hoover Dam's Reservoir Lake Mead is located just 15 miles downstream from Lake Powell. Since operations at the lake impact water levels at Lake Mead, I think it's a good idea to include Lake Mead's water level statistics in the Lake Powell update. This is a chart of Lake Mead's water elevation for the 2024 water year. The water elevation started out pretty flat, but between December 1st and March 1st, the elevation increased by 12 feet. But since early March, the water level has been on a steady decline, and it's declined to its current elevation of 1,070 feet. Thanks to the reduced outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam, the water levels at Lake Mead will continue to decline for the next few months. The Glen Canyon Dam enables distribution of Colorado River water throughout the West and generates power for seven states. An estimated 40 million Americans rely on the water and power that is delivered from this dam. It's hard to underestimate just how important this single piece of infrastructure is to our country. Unfortunately, the Glen Canyon Dam has a major plumbing problem. Federal officials recently identified damage within the Glen Canyon Dam which creates Lake Powell on the Arizona-Utah border. According to the Bureau of Reclamation, the federal agency that owns and operates the dam, four eight-foot-wide steel pipes, called the River Outlet Works, have suffered from cavitation, a process that can erode and deteriorate pipes. Originally, 
The river outlet works were used to divert the Colorado River during construction of the Glen Canyon Dam. Once the construction was complete, the river outlet works were to be used to release water from Lake Powell when the reservoir was flooding, which hasn't happened since 1987. Lake Powell hit a record low elevation in February of 2023. But after a record setting winter that year, the reservoir recovered, but it is still less than one third of the way full. If dry conditions and overuse persist, and the reservoir's water level falls below that 3,490 foot mark, the River Outlet Works pipes would be the only means of delivering water to the lower basin states of Arizona, Nevada, and California. That 3,490 foot elevation is the minimum elevation for power hydropower production at the dam. It's also called the minimum power pool level. Well, due to the damage in the river outlet works, the pipes can't handle high water flows, meaning that reclamation must send less water downstream through the pipes at low reservoir elevations. That would jeopardize the laws governing the Colorado River's use. And we're not talking about just one or two laws here. We're talking about the entire law of the river, a suite of laws, treaties, compacts, decrees, statutes, and regulations that have existed for over 100 years. These laws mandate that the upper Colorado River Basin states above Lake Powell, this is Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, they must deliver a certain amount of water to the lower basin states every year. But with this new plumbing problem, the upper basin states may not be able to meet their water delivery obligations. At the moment, this issue at the Glen Canyon Dam is the most urgent water problem facing the 40 million people of the Colorado River Basin, and we do not have a solution in sight. The Bureau of Reclamation says that it is considering a major overhaul or replacement of the four steel pipes in the river outlet works to ensure water delivery. That kind of engineering takes time, and it takes money. In the meantime, Reclamation reports that its priority is maintaining Lake Powell's elevation above the minimum power pool. This is probably the most important point of this episode. Reclamation is reporting that their priority now is protecting the water elevations in Lake Powell, and it's not delivering water to the southern basin states. So what is Reclamation doing to resolve this issue? Well, if Lake Powell reaches critically low water levels again later on this year, Reclamation could direct the upper basin states to release water from their upstream reservoirs, like Flaming Gorge in Wyoming or Blue Mesa in Colorado, to shore up Lake Powell. That last happened in May of 2022, when Reclamation released 500,000 acre-feet of water from Flaming Gorge to boost water levels at Lake Powell. Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming might need to reduce their use so more water can reach the Lake Powell Reservoir. As for the lower basin states, they might also have to work with less water if Lake Powell continues to shrink. Keeping more water behind the Glen Canyon Dam could mean that reclamation would release less water downstream, forcing Arizona, Nevada, and California to reduce their water use. I can just imagine the pile of lawsuits that will result from that decision. This is a crazy story that we will be talking about for years. New news and information is arriving daily, and you know I will be here doing my best to sift through all of that noise and bring you the true story. Hey, that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another video next week. In the meantime, please check out some of my other videos and consider subscribing. I really appreciate your support.